Hey, how is it going? In this video we will talk about an interesting technical topic referring to the architecture of the most popular test automation frameworks. Last but not least, we will also discuss about WebSocket and HTTP connections. I also created a blog article on this topic that you can find in the description below. Let's get started. Selenium has been a popular choice for software automation testing, but with the introduction of Selenium 4 in October 2021, as well as the emergence of other non-Selenium frameworks like Cypress and Playwright, testers now have multiple options to consider. I created this diagram for Selenium 3. A Selenium request is sent from the Selenium client component. Next, the request is received by JSON wire protocol over HTTP, then secured by the browser driver. Afterwards, the request command is delivered to a real browser where the automation is performed. When the automation is complete, a response travels back to the browser driver JSON wire protocol and Selenium client. Moving on to Selenium 4. Unlike Selenium 3, Selenium 4 has a direct communication between the client and server because of the W3C protocol. To standardize the communication, the JSON wire protocol was replaced by W3C. This approach provides better communication with the browsers, stability and common code, meaning no browser specific code required. Let's move on to Cypress. The Cypress engine directly operates inside the browser. Therefore, it is the browser that is executing your test code. Cypress can access both the front-end and the back-end of the applications. The node server and browser communication are through the WebSocket, which starts execution after the proxy is created. Cypress sends HTTP requests and responses from the node server to the browser. Cypress has control over all the comments that run on and off the browsers. It directly talks with the operating systems to capture screenshots, record videos, access the network layer and perform file system operations. Playwright communicates all requests between client and server through a single WebSocket connection, which stays in place until the test execution is completed. In HTTP connection architectures, tools like Selenium sends each command as a separate HTTP request and receives JSON responses. So, Every action, like opening the browser, clicking an element, etc., is sent as a separate HTTP request. When every request is completed, the connection between the server and client will be terminated and implies being re-established for the next request. Because of ending and recreating a connection for each request, the overall test execution may be slower and flaky. On the other hand, in WebSocket architectures, used by tools like Playwright for example, here all the requests between the client and server are going through a single WebSocket connection which stays in place until test execution is completed. This reduces the points of failure and allows comments to be sent quickly on a single connection. 
Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Happy testing!